Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today I'm doing a shabby chic rag wreath. For my shabby chic rag wreath I will be using a 14 inch wreath form from the Dollar Tree and this is the one with four of the wires. I will be using some fabrics possibly ribbon depending on my overall look at the end then I highly recommend a nice big mat that has 24 inches in it a, a pair of peaking shears and this is the one that has the rivets on the side if you can see it's wavy but this is not something that is necessary you can always use one that's straight bladed and use scissors if you don't have that this is this is just basically decorative. Another thing I recommend is a ruler. And mine is, if you can actually see, it's like, I don't know, one and one ninth inch um, in width. But I'm going to be using this as my guide. You really don't want to go over one and a half inch because then it's going to be more of a bulkier kind of uh, wreath. This is a special wreath, so I did want to choose one that had really beautiful colors. And I just have to share this gorgeous print with you. And for Shabby Chic, you want softer colors. And I thought this was very beautiful, even though it has black outlines, but it has the softer green, softer lilac. It has that peachy pink kind of in these flowers. And I figure if we're going to combine it, with a little bit of a, like a neutral peachy color and then some white, it's going to work well together. As far as the fabrics, these are very soft. This is my backup basically. If I don't have enough of this, I'm going to use this one. So when you are picking your fabric and you don't have stronger fabric like a denim like I will be using, what you wanna focus on is making your strips shorter. Today I will be making nine inch strips because this soft fabric is going to be held up by the stronger fabric in between. So if you are using all cotton fabric, I recommend doing like an eight inch strip. And that way your wreath is going to be a little smaller, but you're going to keep it nice and tight and it's not going to fall over when you hang it. So softer fabric, shorter strips. Also another way to make really, um, you know, soft fabric stronger is putting either some ribbon in between that is strong. I'm not sure if I'm going to consider this as strong, but something like burlap, if you're making a farmhouse wreath or something, something like burlap, it will hold it up. Now this ribbon is from the Dollar Tree. You can definitely cut it in half and use that. And this type of ribbon will help you keep shape and help the softer fabric stand up. Now let's get to the cutting. For today's Wreath Wednesday, I'm collaborating with my super sweet friend, Lenny from Crafty Lenny. If you guys have not checked her out, you need to. She just started Lenny's Shabby Tuesdays where she will be doing Shabby Chic DIYs every Tuesday. But really, she has been doing Shabby Chic since she started. So check her out and her gorgeous Shabby Chic style. And of course, let's not forget the Lini Show, where you can find yours truly co-hosting. So if you want to chat with me and spend some time with me and Crafty Lini, join us Saturdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Crafty Lini channel. So my board here from the top to the bottom is 18 inches. And you can do this two ways. You can cut your fabric into nine inch strips, kind of like long ways, and then cut your one inches, or you can cut into one inch strips while it's 18 inches and then cut them in half. That is totally up to you. Since my fabric is kind of already done, what I'm going to do at first is I really want to cut my edge right here with the peaking shear. So I'm just going to go on the edge and cut it. Okay, this fabric has a thick piece right here, but it doesn't matter. I'm still going to be using it. This is a rag wreath. We are not going to be 
throwing anything away that we don't have to. So I'm just going to cut at the edge so we have a little wavy edge right here. And then I'm going to start measuring. And now I'm just lining my ruler up and down I go. Okay, so this fabric is 48 inches in width. So it's quite, quite long. So what I did with this one is I just cut strips um, that are nine inches wide. And then I'm going to go sideways here and just start cutting them one inch wide. See, I find this easier because you kind of have, um, you can kind of go off your mat and it's, I, I find it easier than doing the long strips and then cutting them in half. But you can do it either way. I'm just going to continue cutting and I will be right back. All right, I have everything cut up already. And so here's how I do it. We're going to go one to two, two to three, three to four. And I go in order. Make a knot. The next one I'm going to do in the middle. And the third one. So this is what it looks like. It's one to two then two to three, then three to four. And so what I do is I lay my boxes out. When you come back around, you're going to finish this off. That's how I do it. So now this one, I'm going to start with the white. For the middle row, I'm going to do this one. Just go in order. And I like doing this because at the end of the day, everything is going to be nice and kind of even and you know this is a rag wraith it doesn't have to be but when you're only doing three colors this is the best way that i found to do it and so since i started with the white i'm going to start with this one next now if you're afraid you don't have a certain color um if you're afraid you don't have the the right amount of a certain color then what i would do is make sure you counted and see how many you need in each section i counted my peach ones because this one i had the least so i can have no more than 11 in this one so far i have one two three four and look how much it's taking up and i'm sure i'll be fine All right, you guys, I am done with section number one. I love these uh, shades. And here it is from the back. It's kind of important to see because you can kind of see as I'm going how they're kind of going on a slant a little bit. But you can also see that I'm going in order. So I'm basically just taking one, two, two, three, three, four, one, two, two, three, three, four, and tying them two at a time. And I'm going on a slant. And when you do that, this is what it looks like. And you have a nice distribution of all the colors that you are using. Okay, you guys, I'm going to continue all the way around until I'm done. And here is the wreath. It turned out so shabby, so adorable. And I ended up not using any of the lace. The pink I felt was a little too pink. This would have been okay, but I just thought it kind of almost clashed. I mean, it could still work in all honesty, but um, I am going to put this wreath under easy. I am so used to making bows and decorating them that at this point I'm just looking at it and it just, it doesn't need anything. It is, you know, it's a rag wreath. It is shabby chic. It is very adorable. The colors are perfectly laid out 
and the back is so gorgeous look at this <laughs> I absolutely love it it is like this huge mess on the front that is perfect and then it's this clean clean on this side and I'm absolutely loving it if you are going to end up trying this wreath I would love to see it and feature it in my community tab the email address where you can send your picture and the name you want me to put it under is in the description box below and don't forget to check out Crafty Lini and see what shabby chic wreath she made that is it for me today I will see you in the next wreath Wednesday mm -hmm.